This is Nerd News for Tuesday, August 21st, 2018. Matt Groening's Disenchantment getting mixed reviews. Rotten Tomatoes currently has it at 58% rotten with critics. However, the audience score is at 67%. Disenchantment centers around a princess whose father is trying to marry her off. But she'd rather be drinking, hanging with demons, and being friends with elves. Please post your reviews of Disenchantment in the comments. I don't know about you, but I feel that Benedict Cumberbatch's portrayal of Stephen Strange was amazing. It seems like I am not alone because there are strong rumors of a sequel brewing. No spoilers, but one thing we can expect from Doctor Strange 2 is a much higher paycheck for Mr. Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch is rumored to have made $4.2 million for Doctor Strange, Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War, and Avengers 4. For Doctor Strange 2, the paycheck could add another $5 million just for the one movie. The movie is rumored to start filming in about six months. Copyright infringement shuts down Rick and Morty pop-up bar. The Wubba Lubba Dub Pub was located in D.C. They invited fans of the show to get swifty and even offered a drink called the Pickle Rick Backshop. A statement was issued that Turner Broadcasting Cartoon Network changed their minds, threatened us with exorbitant fees, and then took everything off the table today and refused to talk any further. The whole time, we were operating in good faith and willing to make concessions to bring this wonderful work of fan art to life. They even had hand-sewn me-seeks. Remember a couple months back when the Barton Distillery warehouse collapsed? It seems that the recovery and cleanup is a very slow process that continues to this day. One at a time, each barrel is inspected. It looks like some barrels might be salvaged from the wreckage and inspections continue daily. A cooper is being used to inspect the barrels and makes the necessary repairs. A cooper is a person trained to make wooden casks and barrels from timber that was usually heated or steamed to make it pliable. Once a barrel meets the quality standards of the Barton Distillery, they are taken away. Watch the full video linked in the show notes for actual footage of the Barton Distillery cleanup as we couldn't afford the usage fee. Will Wheaton shuts down his Twitter account. Many are saying he did this in response to Alex Jones and Infowars not being banned on Twitter. According to his official blog, though, it's much more than that. I really hate Twitter. It was once promising and I feel like it still does some good. But on balance it enables harassment and evil and cruelty at least as much if not more than it helps things change for the better. I feel like it has broken our society and wrecked our social contract. I feel like the board at Twitter and its CEO Jack Dorsey know this but they're too busy profiting from their inaction to care. May history judge them all the way they deserve. In the past he has also complained about the unimaginative trolls who still think it's an original or funny joke to say, shut up Wesley. I say if you're going to be a troll, at least be better at it than a joke created before most on the internet were born. You can read way more detail about this on his official blog linked in the show notes. Nerd News is posted every weekday at 6am Pacific.